I could have been a big L. Big L, rest in peace. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. Today I have a large homemade bowl of chili and uh, I'm very very ready to get into this because this is day two of what should have taken one day. So before we do anything more, we must pour. I got the full bucket of ice. You guys remember that? The ALS bucket of ice challenge? How long ago was that by now? I can't even remember but damn. That feels like almost literally like a decade, I want to say. Anyways, those are pretty funny times. Uh, as you can see, we have the Dr. Pepper today. And we must fizz up to get where we need to be in order to enjoy this delicious meal that I've created for the second time. Second time, you say? Yep, you, you heard it right. It's the second time. This video has been one for the books all because of a simple little cut I'll tell you about it very annoying rose gold baby rose gold I don't even know what that means but rose gold bit of movement Okay, so you guys saw it come together. You guys pretty much know what's going on here. It's chili. It's sans beans because I hate beans, to be honest. The, the texture of it grosses me out. Also, we're trying to go low carb. That's why we have the cauliflower in place of rice, which I would usually have rice with chili. But riced cauliflower is a genius level culinary invention. So for whoever made that, you're, uh, you know, you get some cred with me because it's a beautiful thing. So, it's a couple tostadas, tostadas on the side. Those are adding up to something like 35 grams of carbs. So, we're clocking in keto and I'm ready to eat-o. This should be neato. Um, let's get to it. <laughs> and I'll tell you some stuff. But before we do that, let's just have a nice bite of everything. So, I blowtorched the cheese, obviously, as you saw there. And I'm very intrigued to see what kind of flavor profile that might have given it because I'm assuming there's going to be some like char to it. Should we do an everything bite with egg as well? Y'all know I had to include an egg. I don't know why, but it feels very authentic to me. Get that, a little sour cream, a little Valentina. And uh, rather drippy. That chili is wetter than I thought, or the cauliflower released juices as the chili went on top. So there you go, a bite for you. It's got everything in it. You guys take the first one. Yum, yum, all right? And part of me wants to snap off a piece of this just to have some crunch in there. So we go to a world full of delicious flavors down in Tijuana. And I know I'm supposed to act surprised as to how good it tastes. <laughs> but if I did that, I'd be pulling the wool over your eyes because yesterday I already did this meal. <laughs> it was an or ordeal. Mm. But I will tell you guys, it's flaming flame mignon it's that good it's so good I love this it's got everything going for it just the deep flavors of a chili I didn't make it too spicy <clears throat> nice balance between like acidity heat <clears throat> a little bit sweet 
everything fat i added that some extra butter in there during the cooking process at one point because i just felt like it was lacking a bit of fat i just the meat wasn't fatty enough so i threw some butter in there and richened it right up beautiful thing a beautiful beautiful thing this reminds me of a Lexi babe dish she's a mukbanger she always does like one dish like one pot type things I'm sure some of you watch her All right, so let me tell you about my ordeal yesterday. So, you know, chili needs like a good bunch of hours to cook and do its thing and like become itself, you know? It needs time to develop, just like us humans. It's a growth, a journey, a process. Chili needs that. So, I mean, I started this. Right when I woke up yesterday, I started, you know, I filmed everything, popped it on got her going in the slip in like the that pot there and uh i was just giving it my my tlc my tender love and care i was like deeply fasted like the all day i'm, I'm smelling chili and i you know i had to taste it a little bit a few times but really just i was tasting like the liquid just to make sure the balance was right but i'm just jonesing for to eat and like just the whole day it's just it's playing with my mind playing with my emotions And I'm like, ooh, chili, you look so good. You smell so good. Like, I can't wait for me, you to be in me. And uh, all day, blah, 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 getting ready. A couple little mishaps here and there with just like noises in, in, the, in the house condition and that. Eventually, I get to the point where I can eat and film the video. I run to the bathroom while some little last things are cooking and I look at myself in the mirror I'm like yo you're a scraggly little bitch right now like because sometimes I like to look as good or better than the food but I was like you gotta shave up so I was trimming up and then I trimmed right under here and I clipped and you can probably see the little red dot because it's kind of scabbed over I clipped under my no my nose my nostril and it just started bleeding I tried every trick in the book to, to try to get this this uh, this bleeding to stop. It just would not stop. I even tried to film the video at a point to like and like tend to it while I was filming, but it's just impossible. So I ended up a mad guy. Like, of course, a whole day's work would get sabotaged by the dumbest little thing. Literally the dumbest little thing. A shaving error. <laughs> like, and that just reminded me of what little bitches humans are like you know we're so fragile <laughs> in the animal kingdom like real shit i could kill you with this spoon if if i wanted to you know what i mean this 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 dish i could kill you with i could literally probably find a way to kill you with this tortilla tostada bunch it into jagged pieces stab them in your eye and then cut your throat with a jagged piece of tostada <laughs> you know what i mean a 
humans are just actually so fragile. That's hilarious to me. Now, speaking of fragile, my emotions were fragile when I was doing <clears throat> a little bit of deep winter cleaning. And I found this picture of me as a not so fragile young man because this pose and face says anything but <laughs> if anything this says billionaire future you know what I mean you guys ready for this <laughs> I don't know how old I am I think I might be I'm gonna give it like five maybe but I don't know if you're ready. I'm certainly not ready for this. <laughs> wow, what a guy. Okay, check me out. Can you even believe this guy? <laughs> Look at that fucking blazer, first off. That upright position with that thumb to hand over mouth cheeky smile ratio. Why do I look like Master Splinter mixed with Alex Trebek? I don't know. And you best believe that spiky top had a mullet in the back. What a G. Probably at a Christmas dinner and definitely getting a bread roll in me. But that's not keto, so we can't have that anymore. <laughs> So I found that when I was cleaning and I died, man. Holy fuck. Man. I, <laughs> oh, man. As a kid, like, I was fucking sick, to be honest. <laughs> so, like, I've, I'm pretty confident in myself now. But, man, when I was a kid, I was turbo confident. So outgoing, always down to entertain, always dance at, at like weddings and stuff and like shit like that. Dance does a dance floor executioner. My dad has called me one of my nicknames my whole life has been Swivel Hips because <laughs> I was always dancing so much. funny shit children pictures the nostalgia when I find them they always get me going they're hilarious to me I'll tell you what this is so much better with many sour creams so we're gonna go aggressive on it There's so much in my mind right now. Like, one thing, this is r r really random and off topic, but Mac Miller, his like family and stuff, he was working on a second album. And they're like releasing it on his behalf and stuff. And I think proceeds are going to a charity. But he released a new song with a video or they released a song, I should say, not he, but technically he, but not, you know what I mean? It's a weird thing. I don't know how to navigate that, but, and I've been wanting to really listen to and watch it, but because he is beloved on, with a lot of people on my channel and I love him and, you know, him and I are akin to a twin to some degree. 
I'm wondering if I should do a reaction video, like just basically do the video just watching and listening to the song and kind of reacting and dissecting. But I kind of wanted to just come on here and like ask you guys if that would be something that would be like a good idea or received well. Or something that you guys would be interested in at all. Because at all. I've never really done a reaction video to anything. And this just seems like a good like a good one to do. So, I don't know, let me know. I'm down if you're down. This is really what I'm getting at. Okay. Mm-hmm. Am I gonna go the distance? It's crazy, this is actually very filling, but all in all, this whole dish, like the cauliflower is so low carb that like the cauliflower, it's probably, or low calorie, I should say. The cauliflower is probably like the amount of cauliflower I had is probably like 40 calories of carbs. The actual chili I put on top was maybe maybe three, 400 calories. The cheese is another couple hundred calories. And then the sour cream is like a hundred calories. So all in all, this dish is like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 800 calories. That's why cauliflower is so genius. Low carb, low calorie. And it's filling. Like this is a huge amount of food. Mr. Itchy knows. Like this legit will have me like I'm gutted I'll be full for the day easily done easily my one meal A good option, man. This dish. If you're trying to keep it low in all those areas and, and be full. Real spit. All right. Well, that was delicious. This is a great one. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. Shout out this guy though. <laughs> and uh, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.